Herbert Hoover was the 31st president of America who was blamed for the great stock market crash and the Great Depression in 1929. He was born on August 10, 1874, in West Branch, Iowa, to a family of Quakers. His father was a blacksmith who died when Herbert was nine years old. His mother died three years later, and the orphan boy and his brother and sister were raised by their uncle, Dr. John Minthorn, who lived in Oregon. Herbert Hoover died on October 20, 1964, in New York. The career of Herbert Hoover included the roles of engineer, politician, and statesman. He received an excellent education and graduated from Stanford University. He became the 31st President of America in 1929 and served for four years until 1933. Herbert Hoover married Lou Henry Hoover on February 10, 1899. The couple were in China during the Boxer Rebellion and lived in many other countries over a period of 17 years. Lou was extremely well-educated and fluent in many languages. When the Hoovers wanted to speak privately, they spoke in Chinese. They had two children, whose names were Herbert Clark and Alan Henry. Herbert Hoover belonged to the Republican political party. He was 54 years old when he was inaugurated as the 31st president. Inauguration is a president's swearing-in ceremony. Charles Curtis stood as vice president. He was the nation's first Native American vice president. Herbert Hoover was an imposing figure, standing at 5 feet 11 inches. He had straight brown hair, hazel eyes, a ruddy complexion, and a round, fleshy face. Hoover traveled the world as a mining engineer. He became a millionaire and owned silver mines. He followed Calvin Coolidge as the president, who was known for the Coolidge prosperity, but who left the nation unprepared for the economic collapse. Herbert Hoover was blamed for causing the stock market crash and the depression, and lost even more popularity when he showed reluctance to help the millions of subsequently unemployed. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era, including the economic collapse of the country in 1929. Herbert Hoover was instrumental in passing the Hawley-Smoot Tariff that erected a wall of barriers against imports into the United States, raising U.S. tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods to record levels. The Bonus Army March was a protest by World War I veterans and their families to demand payment of their promised bonuses. The heavy-handed treatment of protest marchers by General Douglas MacArthur added to the unpopularity of the president. He died of massive internal hemorrhaging on October 20th, 1964, in his suite on the 31st floor of the Waldorf Towers in New York. His body lay in state in the rotunda of the state capitol. He was buried in West Branch, Iowa. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of Herbert Hoover, who was blamed for the great stock market crash and the Great Depression in 1929. The next U.S. president was Franklin D. Roosevelt. This video is one of a series covering all of the American presidents and has been created by www.facts-about.org.uk as a free educational resource. This unique collection of videos has been developed to enable students to gain a fast overview of the lives of each of the U.S. presidents, together with the key events which occurred during their presidency. Discover the range of videos that are available on the Facts About website and use them as a fast, dynamic learning aid which will add variety to conventional study methods and help to increase knowledge retention.